I hate to be the one to break it to you, but sugar is a drug. If you don't believe me, look at the book, Sugar Blues, all kinds of statistics in there. If you don't believe me, feed a young child a can of soda or a couple of uh, candy bars and just watch what happened. I mean, I had to laugh because the government came out many years ago with a study that said, oh no, sugar has no effect on children. And every adult who had children said, okay, we all know that's ridiculous. So we consume way too much sugar here in the United States. The average American consumes 126.4 grams of sugar every day. That's about the same as eating three Milky Ways every day. We have sugar as an additive in lots of our foods. We have so much sugar here in the US that our taste buds become a little bit dead to it. So we have to use more and more to get the taste. Um, years ago, I um, knew a German family and they would bake baked goods. And in Germany, they use a lot less sugar in their baked goods that we do in the US. It was lovely. I'm not a sugar eater. So when I would eat that, it would be just really nice. But if I ate, you know, a cupcake or something like that from a normal bakery, oh, it was just too much. Your body gets dead to it and you lose track of being able to tell what it's doing to you. It causes a lot of inflammation. So compare our 126.4 grams of sugar every day in the US to Japan, 57 grams a day. Crazy. So we definitely want to look out for where sugar hides. I had a lot of comments on my sugar and inflammation video that I did about, um, you know, we need sugar. Our brain needs sugar to function. Well, yes, we do, but not 126 grams a day. You know, that's ridiculous. You're, you want a very balanced diet. You want lots of fruits and vegetables. I say lots, two fruits a day, three or four vegetables a day, and you, you just eat clean and eat natural and you will get plenty of sugar without adding sugar to what you're doing.